It is quarter to seven. It's National Nurses Week, a time to celebrate all of the contrib uh, contributions that is that nurses are making across the country each and every day. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin shares how two local nurses are fighting COVID-19 separately on the front lines, but remaining grounded when they come home to each other. On Wednesday, I caught up with two nurses who are recently married and live in East Providence. They tell me the community support they've received over the past couple months has been incredible, but it's the support they receive from each other that keeps them going. I don't know if anything will ever match this again in my career. This is a pandemic that is hopefully comes around once in a century you know, or once something. In a century. You like, could say a love of medicine is what brought Katie and Sean together. Just out of school, the two met each other as nurses at Newport Hospital. Now, less than a year into their marriage, the O'Keefe's have found themselves in a situation they never imagined being in, working on the front lines of a pandemic. It just takes a lot of staff and a lot of resources to take care of them, so it's been challenging. Katie, a nurse in the ICU at Miriam Hospital, working in a unit treating only COVID patients. Sean, a critical care nurse within the emergency department at Rhode Island Hospital. I mean, we're on the front lines, we're dealing with people's lives, and now we have a virus that could potentially kill our family members and make us very, very ill. Uh, so you got to worry about catching that brain at home, and um, that's kicked up. Picked up the stress level yeah, more than it for sure. already is. As they continue to battle the virus, the O'Keefe say National Nurses Week snuck up on them this year. I'm really lucky to work with such wonderful nurses, mm -hmm. and we absolutely couldn't be doing this without each other. The O'Keefe say they would also be lost without the community support. People sending food, making masks, and donating PPE. And of course, when the days are long and the stress is high, coming home to each other makes life a little bit easier kind of going through the same thing, uh, same experiences at work, same type of patients that we see. So it's good to have someone uh, to relate to. Not only is this week National Nurses Week, but 2020 has been designated the International Year of the Nurse by the World Health Organization. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.